everybody. How you doing? I'm Hex DSL, and I want to talk to you about The Stig. Well, it's just Do called mail. Stig. Um, the Stig was the name of a terrible, terrible character from an English television program about cars, which was rubbish. Um, anyway, factually rubbish. It's not just not my opinion. It's a fact. Um, anyway, sometimes, obviously, I like to download move Linux ISOs from Torrent, because um, that's all you would download. It. And I like to get my... And one of the reasons I like Torrent for doing these things and downloading these move Linux ISOs uh, is because Torrent can be automated through services um, like uh, Sick Rage and other headphones, Couch Protect. Sorry, I mean the distro maintainers' websites. That's the best. That's what you need them for. Sorry, I don't, I don't know why I'm saying these random words. It's really weird. Um, anyway, the distro maintainers' websites um, are good places to go for them uh, if you want to get your torrents and you can just click and it just downloads. Now, torrents are great because the thing is about transmission is it's a service running on your computer. You don't need to have any interface open to have the service running, you just hit your download, transmission will go and do that for you. And then you use things like transmission, clear CL, transmission, remote CLI to look at it. Um, and I'm using Stig. The reason I'm using Stig instead of transmission, remote CLI is because transmission, remote CLI is no longer being maintained. And it's sort of fell out of fact, depending on what you do with versions, depending on your repo, et cetera, et cetera, you may find it's no longer working uh, with the version of transmission you've got under the hood. Now, a lot of distros just aren't bothering to update transmission because, you know, not a lot's happened in transmission forever because, you know, who cares? Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I like to run the newer stuff. And because of that, my version of um, my version of, of transmission fell out of sync with transmission remote CLI. Because it's not being maintained, Stig is where they've sent me, and I really like it. So Stig's got a few things going for it. Firstly, uh, it's nice and colourful. I really like the colours. You can customise all this with a config file, but I really like the colours of it. Uh, and if you want to do it with this torrent, like I want to delete this now. So I'm just going to hit T for the torrent menu, and then I can hit D for delete, or I can hit capital D to also delete the files which you know in the case of a move in the case of a linux iso yeah. is not necessarily what you want to do so you just want to you know just delete the torrent from the list um you can also you can do other things as well you can sort them as well you can you can go right and left it uses um it uses a uh, vim navigation as well so when you go right and left you when you go right and left with vim navigation uh you can just you can just you know tap 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 and you haven't got to use arrow keys uh, arrow keys also work though um, but it's nice to see Vim navigation just being baked into stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, once you've got something, well, in this case, we'll delete, we'll delete all you know, that, that stuff that's been happening. Stuff that's happening, look, look, seeding and uploading. Let's uh, let's T for the torrent menu and delete that, and then T, and then delete that too. Um, really nice, straightforward. It's easy to use. Just D T, you know, uh, T D. Yeah, and there's lots of different things. If you are worried about it, worried, if you are interested in what's happening with configuration, you can hit F1 there, and then you can hit uh, K for the key map. There you go. You can get down here and all the shortcuts are in there. But really, it's the T menu is really the one you, you're going to want most of the time because I don't think many people download massive... But most people, I think, who have all got their torrents automated with the distro maintainer's website or an RSS feed or something, um, don't really mess about them. You just added stuff and just delete them later, right? So you're probably not going to need much more than that. Most people aren't adding enough torrents to have to actually manage them actively. Um, and even then, you can do that with Transmission's own settings you don't really have to use these so for me it's always just gonna be t and d and again that opens another tab here um so you can just hit d to close the tab uh, and again the thing is like this here like if i just that one that's isolated if you hit d that tab's gone it will be there when i come back if i don't save it but i can just delete all these and you know just have the all if you want and then uh, if i uh, if i was decided to kill that um yeah uh and then reload it and it should be back i hope it's back there you go they're all back who it's a relief isn't it but yeah stick's pretty great stick's pretty Stig's pretty great for getting your movies. Dor downloads, torrents. Yeah, I, d I actually screwed up that joke then, didn't I? <laughs> Stig's pretty great uh, for getting your uh, for your ISOs. Hit that. And you have to have a working transmission set up on your machine. Um, there's lots of videos and lots of guides on how to get transmission set up, um, especially the Arch Wiki. For instance, if you go to Arch and you go uh, transmission there, you will see, look at this, there's, there's a whole thing here about what to do and how to set it up. Um, I think on the ArchWiki they are still recommending transmission remote uh, CLI, but yeah, depending on your distro, that won't work. They, they may have maintained it or may not have updated transmission, but yeah, all in all, you just set this thing up as a service, just right, run all the time, and just connect to it with front ends. Um, but Stig's cool. Stig's cool because it's in color and it's pretty, and it seems to give me way more information than I want, but I like that because I'm a nerd. And yeah, it's become the standard thing I'm using now for my torrents whenever I want to download and watch it. Linux distro. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you should go have a look at it anyway. The um, 
the best way to get it is obviously from git or from your repo if it's in there uh lots going on tells you lots of things which i really like um yeah there's really no downside the, the actual page here makes because when i first saw this information i was like shit this is complicated right this is this is there's a lot going on here but it turns out you just install it it'll, and as long as your transmission is set up with all the standard settings you'll just plug into it you haven't actually go do anything just run it it'll just find transmission if it's on the standard ports um but yeah pretty cool uh yeah the key modeling stuff here uh what is it you think it's made i, I want to say that it transmission that stig is made with java not java the other one python there you go it is made with python well, there you go good um but yeah i you know, can't find a company yeah PFP, it must be python um which puts a lot of people off but it's using basic stuff i can't see it pulling anything that's going to break um it seems about as robust as ranger at this point because like ranger my python can be completely broken but ranger just still like just works which is great and i assume stig's going to be the same um i'm open to other opinions though because maybe like this has got a lot of information i do wonder if there's something so i'm going to start people tell me off of this scrolling you know i'm going to stop doing that i'm going to stop scrolling and stop and put my hand off off the mouse um yeah the uh there might be something else simpler that might be more to your taste and please do post in the comments below with links to that stuff and if you oh if you post a link on my videos um youtube is taken to automatically moderating those and put them in a box where i have to authorize them but uh, please do just carry on posting links if you've got link not to pirate websites but to torrent service the torrent application client things like stig um if it's like i say if, if it's a github repo thing i'll just automatically just go in and just just click that as okay so don't think i'm moderating comments i'm not it's just some of the for whatever reason, um, YouTube has become really sensitive lately. It's like, some, like the world's in hay and mayhem or something is what's happening. Um, so yeah, anyway, Stig, it's pretty good. I like it. Talk too much. Um, my last video, people said I was too energetic because I was caffeinated off my tits. And uh, I'm caffeinated right now as well. You can probably tell. Not even sorry, to be honest. Talking too fast. Talking. I could have stopped this video ages. I'm going to stop. What am I doing? Goodbye, everybody. If you want to support me, it really helps. Throw me a like. That'd be ace. And if you aren't already subscribed, you can do that to get more fast-talking videos about Linux and video games. And if you've got money, I don't. So you can give it me over on patreon.com slash hexdsl. I'll have as much of it as you want to give me. <laughs> Check out hexdsl.co.uk for ways to give me money directly, actually, if you're interested. Um, but mostly to read my blog stuff, because I think it's kind of interesting. And, uh, and the two people that have emailed me to complain about me talking about my Patreon all the time literally put the end card up before I mention it. Nothing he said that's worth listening to when the end card's up. So it's on you, buddy.